Well, all the way, after dispatching the likes of Hart and Lothian and Celtic in the previous rounds. And it's a gala day for the Rangers and Kilmarnock fans. As they've both made it to the Scottish Cup final. Man to watch for Kilmarnock, Adam Fritzell, with two goals in the previous game. He'll be one to keep an eye on for the Rangers defenders. Rangers shockingly have a full complement of players to choose from. Everybody fit as we see Lee Clark's Kilmarnock side first. McLean up top with Fritzell just behind. Payard and Jones. Smith and Wilson in midfield. Nakamura and Webb at the back. And there it is, the famous old trophy. These two teams will be hoping to be the one to get their hands on that come the end of 90 minutes here or perhaps the end of extra time and penalties should those be required as we said Rangers amazingly have a fully fit team a fully fit squad for the first time all season and he's able to restore Mustafi to the back line today after a serious injury kept him out of the last four months of football he's back just in time for the final Rangers have at last a full strength 11 out there and they should be hot favourites to take this trophy home Shane McDonnelly the man in charge of proceedings this afternoon let's get this one underway now it's Rangers to kick us off for this Scottish Cup final it's not the best of days here in Glasgow but these fans won't be caring a jot they're just looking for cup glory that's the first shot from Rangers coming in from Sanchez. Wara gets a hand on it. Manages to get down and save that one. Rangers with the corner. Hangs it up. Punched away by the commander keeper. As Rangers go in search of an early lead. To establish dominance in this game. Still on the ball here. Malik have a chance to come forward now. Oh, that's good play. Fritzel unable to get on that one. Rangers can mop it up nicely. Nice ball forward looking for Anthony Marshall. Marshall cuts inside. His little ball in is easily defended. Booted away. This is Jones. Jones linking up with Smith, but Smith loses out only momentarily in fact Rangers have it a chance to run at this defence ball played out wide to Oliver Buck scored of course in the old firm game this into the net Rangers have the goal they were looking for and well wouldn't you just know it <laughs> less than 10 minutes gone here at Hamden Park it's a wonderful ball in, a wonderful finish. That was an excellent goal indeed. He enjoyed that one. And Connor Chaplin gets his first goal of the Cup campaign. Well, he was one of the top scorers in the league, and now he's got a Cup final goal to his name. Connor Chaplin. Rangers will fancy a few more now, surely. Grabbing the opener with only nine minutes on the clock. Here comes Buck again. Oh, he's just fouled there at the last moment. Rangers have a chance to deliver into the box. What will they do here? It's a bit congested in there. Managed to get the ball in, but... Can't do much with the header. Kilmarnock again looking to break through. Payard. That's defended excellently. Just winning the ball again in the midfield. And another excellent tackle. Could have been in again here. Oh, that's a last man foul, surely. 
and he's got to go for that one it's a straight red and Kilmarnock's day goes from bad to worse as Nakamura is dealt a straight red card for his last man challenge here Chaplin was clean through after a defensive mistake and Nakamura makes the ultimate sacrifice for his team and just looking to add a second here oh and it's off the woodwork from Pogba Kamarnock living very dangerously at the moment down to 10 men in the Scottish Cup final Nakamura sent off but they're through here this is McLean edge of the area his ball in is dealt with by the Rangers defence and goalkeeper this is Buck lovely ball over the top looking for Hunu who's joined the attack here Hunu with the cross it's headed behind for the corner Rangers in full flow in this Scottish Cup final full house here at Hamden ball into the box it's headed towards goal and just saved on the line there goes behind for another corner Rangers again delivering this way he's headed away and it's out for a throw in midway in the Kilmarnock half you'll be impressed so far well there was a foul in there but play on says the referee and not this time free kick to Kelly and just winning it again in the midfield over ambitious with the pass here come Rangers forward once more Rangers with a one goal lead the goal coming from Connor Chaplin in the Scottish Cup final Kilmarnock down to 10 men after Nakamura sent off for a last man challenge it's another foul there surely and an injury to Marshall well we've said that quite a few times this season very injury prone the Frenchman Rangers, oh, that's another foul ref. This referee is really testing the limits. Some awful decisions being made. That's another foul, surely. And finally, the whistle sounds. Beginning to think he'd dropped his whistle there, the referee. Rangers have the free kick. Another chance to deliver into the box. Here they go. Well, that's a poor one. Pogba's run just blocked off there momentarily. And the move came to nothing. Come on up, we're looking to break. But it's Rangers once again on the attack. Great challenge there from Webb. Oh, come on up. Really up against it. Down to 10 men. And a goal down already. But they're battling hard. It's by no means a capitulation. And of course the referee blows the whistle this time. Some really poor officiating in this first half. They got the pit they got the red card correct. But he's missed a few more fouls from Kilmarnock players. And just players getting in each other's way. That's a poor ball there. He used to do better than that. Come on, it really should be put to bed by this point. This is Buck. It's done well here, Buck. His ball is into the box, it's punched away. Well, it's blasted back towards 
goal by the Kilmarnock defender. And they get away with it in the end. Of course. Just four minutes to be added on here. Rangers in command of this Scottish Cup final. Kilmarnock certainly not out of it yet though. Chance there. Ballooned over the bar. Kilmarnock have the corner. Should be headed away and is. Rangers players again getting in each other's way. Kilmarnock have the throw in. Edge of the area. This is Payard. Ball into the box. Rangers having to look lively at the back. Another corner. Still not convincingly cleared. It is this time. And the half time whistle sounds. It is Rangers. Who have the advantage going in at the break. Kilmarnock down to 10 men after a last man challenge from Nakamura. Rangers in the driving seat. Kilmarnock now, Rangers 1, half time. Kilmarnock kicking us off for this second half. Still no changes to the Rangers lineup. Rangers, as we said, Having a fully fit squad for the first time all season long. This is the last fixture of the Scottish calendar. Finally, those injuries and suspensions have all cleared. It's good work there. Strangers come forward again. Chance to run. Connor Chaplin. It's into the box. And his finish is poor. Well, he has scored already in this game, but we'd said he'd been on a poor run of form coming into this. Since he come back from his ankle knock, his finishing has been quite woeful. Did score an excellent goal in the first half. We have to give him that. Just a little worry that he's shaded off a little bit, Chaplin. Eventually losing out in the golden boot to his strike partner, Alvaro Morata, of course. And here is Monata on the ball now, looking to feed through Chaplin. Chaplin misses again. Another huge opportunity for the Englishman. He puts it wide of the post. That could have been goal number two. Disappointing for Rangers, only to be one goal ahead against this 10 man Kilmarnock side. It's a good interception there from Payard. To Rob Oliver Buck. It's a good ball forward. Does he have the pace? In fact, it's going straight through to Wara. He's commanding header. Rangers again looking to attack. Kilmarnock resolute in the defending. Rangers linking up nicely. That's too much on that one. Well, Rangers thinking about changes already. It's going behind, is it, for the corner? Has he kept it in? Yes, he did. <laughs> Excellent stuff. Oh, it's gone in. Sneaked under the keeper. And Payard, tell he's been the danger man. Ten man Kilmarnock. Scored a shock equaliser. Sneaks it in under David De Gea. And it trickles tantalisingly over the line. Rangers unable to keep that one out. De Gea gets two touches on it. 
can't deflect it away from goal. And that is very, very poor indeed from De Gea. Well, Rangers a little bit embarrassed by that one. Need to get back into this in short order. And did Julie really do? Wouldn't you just know it? It's the goal machine, Marata. An instant response from Rangers. A wonderful goal. Slotted through and the finish. Well, that was worthy of any cup final in any country. What a no chance with that one. Rangers re-establishing a lead here. After that shock. Own goal. This one should be easily intercepted. Nice ball looking for Buck. And just in again here perhaps. Oh, it's almost over the keeper. Excellent attempt there. Good defending. Another ball over the top. This time it's well dealt with by Kelly. Certainly not out of this game at all, Kelly. I'm shown with that shock comeback. That shot is wide of the post. Time for changes. Just making all three changes for the last 18 minutes or so of this one. Cobain coming on for Hank Shaw as Kelly make another sub. Marata, the goal scorer of the second goal, coming off. Chaplin coming off as well. Bufal, Zacano, and Dos Santos coming on. Marshall making way for Bufal. Here's the Cano. Rangers comfortable now. Comfortable enough to make those three changes. Oh, that's a nice ball, but just the run from the Cano. Just lost the ball for a second. Lost the tracking of the ball. have to be wary after that shock equaliser earlier on just overrun there from Sanchez it's easily held this time by De Gea Rangers attacking now down the left just not get the pace there Disappointing that. Kilmarnock on the attack, but that's thwarted. Rangers had a chance to come forward again. Another poor pass, bringing the move to a close prematurely. What can they build here? Oh, that's a foul, surely. Well, maybe he did get the ball. How come the flag's gone up there? Also won the ball cleanly. Dubious officiating continues here. Greg Taylor is coming on for Smith. A final roll of the dice for Kilmarnock. Very, very dubious officiating. Tackles allowed in some cases and not in others. Oh, it's a decent attempt, but no trouble for the hair. Kamarnock looking for a last hurrah here, they might be in, and they've scored! It's quite unbelievable! 
Ten man Kilmarnock, they've battled from behind twice to restore parity. Excellent finish from Webb. Cool as you like, slots it under the hair. You see how much that one means to him. Kilmarnock right back in this game. And it looks like they'll be forcing extra time. No one would have thought that. Oh, that's a block there. And a foul on the follow-up. No one would have thought Kilmarnock would be forcing extra time when they went down to 10 men in that first half. Zacanio picks up a yellow card for that foul. Rangers shocked here. Two equalising goals. Can they end this in regulation time? It looks very much like half an hour of extra time coming our way in the Scottish Cup final. It's another poor pass from the midfield when the attack was on. And just really let themselves down here today. Kilmarnock won't believe their luck. They forced extra time in the Scottish Cup final. A fine goal coming from Webb after a mistake from David De Gea had allowed them to equalise the first time around. And game on. Well, we're into the first half of extra time. Rangers will be shocked that they've allowed Kilmarnock to equalise twice despite having a man advantage, Rangers. Lee Clark will be thinking, is this our year? Rangers will be hoping to put that question to bed in short order. Shot coming in from Buck, easily held. Ball over the top, the header, that's wide of the post from Zacanio. Way too far for a headed attempt. Too far out. Just nicking it again. It's gone out of play. But again, the Rangers passing, just letting them down big style today. The Rangers have taken off their two top scorers, their two biggest goal threats, thinking this game was dead and buried at 2-1. Well, Kilmarnock had something to say about that, but it's Rangers again now looking to attack. Coming forward, Zacanio. Zacanio just dispossessed. No, in fact, it's gone through, and a good save by Wara. Well, this one is really far more exciting than it should have been. And you saw it was Rangers versus Kilmarnock. The Scottish Cup final, you would have thought that would be not much of a contest. Especially with Kilmarnock not even finishing in the top six this season. But they've certainly put on a show here today. And a lot of the anti-Rangers elements of Scottish football will be enjoying this one that's for sure including the media the media the BBC and here come Kelly again on the attack to here this time with a wonderful stop excellent play to play in Oliver Buck he bombs forward and his shot is deflected and out for the throw in but there's no time to take that throw in as the half time whistle sounds for half time and extra time well Rangers still unable to take the lead Kilmarnock they'll be very very happy they had a chance themselves well saved by De Gea This is a 
real spectacle of a game. I don't think anybody expected this at all. Four goals shared evenly over the 90 minutes. Stalemate as of yet in extra time. Who can score the goal or is this going to go to the lottery of penalty kicks? That really would be a disaster. Rangers, the newly crowned league champions, taking on Kilmarnock here, a bottom six club, who somehow found themselves in the Scottish Cup final. I guess Rangers took care of the big guns, eliminating Hearts and Celtic on the way to the final. Kilmarnock, you could say, had an easy run, but still credit to them for getting this far and forcing extra time against the champions. That's gone out for a goal kick. De Gea ushering his teammates up the park. As Rangers go on the attack. It's a nice ball over the top. Zacanio's in. That's a poor finish from the youngster. What is he doing there? Very, very weak attack. That's wayward. Rangers just very, very scrappy. They've been disappointing. It's a nice ball in though. And that's a cool finish. Ah, oh, what a way to take the lead. He was waiting for the referee's whistle there for the foul from Zacanio. The referee decided for once to let Rangers play on. Despite the physicality, lovely ball in. And a what a finish from a tight angle from Dos Santos. Resende Dos Santos puts Rangers ahead for the third time to this afternoon and surely this time it will be enough to take home that famous trophy Rangers fans once again on their feet they'll be hoping Rangers can keep it tight this time Rangers on the break can they make this a done deal it's Sanchez and his shot is wide of the post Renato Sanchez looking to make it four I think the extra man is just finally taking its toll on Kilmarnock they're looking very tired now they could still be on with their chance but it's Rangers looking to break the pace of Dos Santos is into the box. Oh, he can't apply the finish, but Zacanio can! And it's 4 2. It's a cup final goal for Ayacopo Zacanio. And it's without any question now of who is worth lifting the famous Scottish Cup trophy. Tim Vora did well to keep it out the first attempt. Zacanio with a cool finish. And it's Rangers who will be the Scottish Cup winners. Finally, some daylight between these two sides. It's taken a long, long time to get there. 120 minutes of football. Finally, Rangers have an insurmountable lead. Can they come forward again here? Oh, it almost trickled through as the final whistle sounds. We have our Scottish Cup winners. It's a double for Rangers. League and Cup champions. Kilmarnock, well, they fought so hard today. No one expected this kind of threat from the Ayrshire side, but they've done very, very well indeed. But it is Rangers, the commanding victors in the end. Four goals to two. Mustafi there making his triumphant return. His first game in four months. And it has ended in glory. As Rangers once again are poised to lift silverware for the second time this season. The league is in the bag. And now, Rangers are the Scottish Cup winners.
Absolute scenes here in the stadium. Mustafi finally gets to lift some silverware. He missed out on lifting the league title. But now the Rangers captain gets his hands on the famous old trophy, the Scottish Cup. These Rangers fans are absolutely delighted. The team has been dominant this season. Fireworks explode over this. Hamden Park lighting up the grey sky. Time for the Team 40. Scottish Cup winners, Glasgow Rangers. Absolutely superb stuff. Let's take a look again at the action. It was Rangers taking the lead, an early goal through Connor Chaplin. Nakamura chopping down Chaplin, he received a red card. Rangers had the man advantage, but Kamarnock were not for giving up. That shot from Payard, somehow creeping under David De Gea and into the back of the net. A shock equaliser. Rangers were right back in it though, this goal coming from Alvaro Morata. Curls one in. Tim Vora beaten for the second time this afternoon and we thought Rangers were home and hosed at that point but no an excellent through ball finds Webb and Webb's shot sneaks into the bottom corner David De Gea absolutely stunned Kilmarnock had forced extra time before Mr. Tendi Dos Santos deep in the second half of added extra time found a way through and it wasn't over there the icing on the cake Ayacopo is a canyon the youngster made absolutely no doubt with goal number four and this one ends Kilmarnock two Rangers four superb stuff well thank you very much for joining us this season it's been a wonderful trip Rangers have lifted the Scottish Premiership and the Scottish Cup. There you can see the route to the final. 1-0 victory over Hearts, a 1-0 over Celtic and 4-2 after extra time against Kelly. So where to from here? Wee bit of training for the kids. You can see how the league table ended up. Rangers 92 points. Well ahead of Celtic there. And Kilmarnock who reached the final. They actually finished second bottom in the league. A goal difference of minus 17. And only, well, less than a third of the points that the Rangers finished with. And they put up a great fight in that Scottish Cup final. And we can see Rangers clear winners. It's been a wonderful campaign. Scottish Cup, yeah, <laughs> look at that. And you only win 75 grand for winning the Scottish Cup, going all the way. Well, another season is over. Thank you very much for joining us. We'll be back with more action on Screwball Gaming. Thank you very much.